go. What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve. You're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. You know I make videos about high-powered and commuter scooters. I'm actually out here on my in-motion climber, really my preferred, my favorite, my only sort of sponsored. And by sponsored, I mean they actually pay me to make, they actually are paying me to make a delivery video. I've never had a company pay me to make a delivery video. So in motion, you can consider this a little extra freebie because I wanted to shoot a video as I went on the road tonight. I worked all day on the Wolf King GT. My Roadrunner Pro is not charged up and I felt like I just wanted to jump on something small. My Roadrunner Pro and my first generation Roadrunner are not charged up. So I just wanted to jump on something small to come down here and do some chores. I really just need junk food. We're not going for tacos. We're not going for pizza or nothing. I already ate lunch and dinner. I actually, you know what I had for lunch and dinner? I had for lunch, I had a bagel sandwich with eggs bacon, tomatoes, onion, and mushroom. And for dinner, I had the same exact thing. And that's basically all I ate today. I don't know if that's a good diet or not, but it's just what I happened to eat today. I gotta be more picky about the way I eat. I don't know, what, I don't know how I became this way. I used to be such a healthy eater. I think turning into, I went from like personal trainer, yoga teacher, Steve, about five years ago to Scooter Steve, or whatever you wanna call me. I hate that fucking name, don't call me Scooter Steve. Uh, and I don't know what happened. I kind of like lost my real huge desire to work out. I sort of uh, stopped, started eating like more like shitty. I mean, I'm still working out, you know, I'm still in shape, I'm still on TRT, but I'm not obsessed with it like I used to. Or trying to make a left here, let's go. So we're gonna, uh, I already had my lunch and my dinner, and now we're gonna pick up snacks. But we're gonna go the long way. I wanted to take the in motion climber for a ride. So they're not paying me to make this video to be clear. But if you use the bonus code Electric Scooter Academy at InMotion, you get 50 bucks off. The reason why I asked them to sponsor a video for me was I got a bunch of clicks on their, whoa. I got a bunch of clicks on the link and a couple of people told me they used the bonus code and since the scooter was already on sale, it didn't work. So I get frustrated when people tell me they're using the bonus code and I'm not getting paid, I get frustrated with companies right away. And even though I liked the scooter, I was gonna give up on the sponsorship, the affiliate deal. And that never really happened with Vora Motors. Like I get paid for every sale I get registered for. And if I don't get paid for it, they give me a reason right away. They're very good at it. So I, I get mad, I get upset with these companies. I'm like, look, I don't wanna make videos. I don't wanna make videos with a bonus code if the code's not gonna work. So I was gonna give up on it, but then I realized like some scooter YouTubers charge the companies to make the actual video. So I said, you know what, maybe they'll pay me. So I asked them if they'd pay me 250 for a delivery video and they said yes. And then I said, fuck, I, I should have asked for more because they said yes right away. Zombies, what's up zombies? How is everybody doing? There's no zombies over here though. So anyhow, I'm just excited that I have like a paid video for them because really on my videos with my ad money, I only get about 20 or $25 per video. That's like nothing, that's very little. So 250 for a single video is cool. And don't forget, use the bonus code, link down, link below. Electric Scooter Academy at InMotion. 50 off for you, a little bit for me, everybody's happy. I'm really just taking us for a ride down Hollywood. I really wanted to test out the climber. I mean, I've already done this already. We know it goes 22 knot miles an hour. We know it's definitely really stable for a commuter scooter. Like I probably, yeah, I probably should get to the right. That's the thing right here is I gotta get to the right. Whoa, 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 that would have sucked. Oh my God, this woman just fucking almost ruined our day. How good is that? Is that video gonna be any good? She didn't even see me and I'm screaming, right? Whoa, 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 and another asshole jumping into the road. What the fuck? Is it, sometimes I wonder if the commuter scooters are more dangerous than the regular scooters because you can't go faster when you need to. And that's the thing with motorcycles is you gotta have a lot of bottom end acceleration for problems in traffic. We're doing good though, we're doing good. That was an exciting moment. Yeah, usually I come down here, I get Popeyes, I get pizza. But uh, I don't need anything. We're just gonna take this ride, we're gonna turn around, we're gonna go back, and we're gonna go to Target. I really, I need junk food, that's what I need. I need a small amount of junk food, something modest. I've been doing pretty good. I bought a big bag of Hershey's Kisses like three days ago, and I made them last three days. Now you gotta understand, for me that's good because I usually eat the whole bag in one night. I'm just like a junk food junkie, I'm just like my mother, I love chocolate. A lot of Jews love chocolate, I don't know what that is. 
maybe because like during hard times we didn't have access to good foods so we like sweets but that could be said about any culture it's stupid so enough of that the sun in my eyes is not my favorite fucking moment out here Hollywood Boulevard's looking busy it's definitely summertime I love it out here in Hollywood you know I'm from back east you know I'm from I'm basically from New Jersey but I was born in Brooklyn so I usually just say that I'm from Brooklyn. I always thought that sounded cooler. New Jersey is a little bit like it has a bad reputation. Although everybody in Jersey, where I'm from, is from New York. That's the thing. And like very few like New Jersey people. Like I was born in Brooklyn Hospital and so it was like almost everybody. Like I had like tons of friends in New Jersey that were born in like Brooklyn hospitals. Ah, oh, the sun in my eyes. That's really my favorite thing. I also forgot to wear my gloves. I was just getting out of the house really quick. I am wearing my helmet. I didn't put the second camera on. I just wanted to shoot point of view today. I really didn't want to have to do all the editing, to be honest with you, that the 360 camera takes. Channel feels like it's been doing pretty good overall. We're having some pretty pretty good uh, two and 3,000 view videos pretty consistently. That video I made with Landry, I know is going to do pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. He's a, he's a really good guy. We've been friends for a while, and working with him like that, we're just going to become better friends. And I'll definitely work with him again because a lot of people... Uh, said, hey, Landry is cool. Why don't you shoot another video with Landry? Damn, I'm out here just fighting traffic like I'm on a big scooter. See how busy it is out here? It's summertime in Hollywood. I'd watch your pockets if you go out there. There are pickpockets out there like crazy. Come on, people. I'm not trying to get into an accident just for the video. We already had one close call. I'm not waiting for this light, bitch. No way. Turbo mode. We're gonna wait for this one though. The brakes on this are pretty good. The problem is they are single brakes and that's almost standard for a lot of commuter scooters. Just one set of brakes and some electronic braking as well. I understand though why one brake is fine because if you're going like under 10 miles an hour, if you're going under 10 miles an hour, <laughs> I thought this was Landry right here, right? <laughs> If you're going under 10 miles an hour and you, and you need to stop, if you can't, you can just walk off the scooter, or at least I can. What's going on here? Why is this light fucking changing? Um, so you really only need the brakes for 10 to 20 miles an hour. Is that any consolation if we're only having one brake? I don't know. But uh, the brakes on this work really good. They're rear brakes. I don't know if they're semi-hydraulic or what, but they got some pretty good grip. And there's some electric assistance for sure, I can tell. All right, let's go ride the scooter in. I hope this is not going to be me. Will this be me? Could this be me in the future? Could this be me? Could this be me? Um, let's go into Target and get some junk food. I feel like that guy might have heard me. Got to be careful out here. That could be Yogi Steve in the future if the channel fails. <laughs> me and my little fucking razor. All right. Uh... This fucking Target. I blame this Target for most of my weight gain in the last couple years. This place only opened uh, a couple years ago. Damn, people have got their head up their ass, but that guy's walking a little baby, so uh, you gotta be nice. All right, we got everything we needed, and now we're gonna head home. I'll show you how the in motion climber climbs hills because the whole way home is basically uphill. I think the uh, alarm has gone off there, but I paid for everything, so come get me. <laughs> I, have, I don't know if I grabbed a receipt or not. That's probably why. Oh, I did grab a receipt, right? Yeah, it's right here. Commuter scooters are all very similar. What I really like about this one, though, is simply the dual motor effect. I think, sure, like the 9Bot Max for a long time is the industry leader, but I think build quality-wise, this is very similar as far as build quality. And I think the dual motors, you just can't beat that effect for hill climbing, for general acceleration. I've never really put it up against a 9-bot, but I mean, you're not racing these, right? I can tell you that it feels like it's got good acceleration because it's got two motors. God, it's almost, I can't even see the people in front of me. The sun is so bad in my eyes there. All right, here we are, hill climb, no problem. Yeah, I think this is like a super top end commuter scooter. I actually never thought I'd even be out here riding these for any reason. Sure, I'm trying to sell some, trying to make some money. I haven't sold any individual units yet. I got that pr promotional deal coming up soon. I'll make that video for the company. I never thought I'd be out here driving these things, but I'm actually, I'd actually rather take this one down here than why fucking bring out the Wolf King or the Roadrunner Pro. They're both such huge vehicles. Why bring them out? 
for just a little chore ride. We're just going down the street. I've been having the, we haven't gone very far. I've been running the camera pretty much the entire time that we are out here. That being said, I'll stop it for this light. This is another hill, another classic hill. This is Outpost. Remind me on the way home to show you where Bob Barker lives. I'm sure most of you guys have heard he passed away. He was really old. He lives right around the corner from me. Like, it's pretty amazing. I'll show you here. What I'll do is I'll show you Lawrence Fishburne's house. I used to do this all the time. I'll show you Lawrence Fishburne's house. And then I'll show you Bob Barker's house because the, uh, the Lawrence Fishburne house is going to be another hill climber. So this is where the hill gets a little more steep. Now we're literally going up outposts. This is like a known steep hill. I've taken this scooter, I think, to the top, right? So this house right here on the right. Okay, we see these, these round hedges right here. That you'll, here, I'll show you. You can see, see the giant wall? See the giant wall? 100% guaranteed Lawrence Fishburne's house. And it's not like you can just walk in here. He's got like a super fucking high fence or thick, whatever he's got. He's got his own wall. He built the wall. That's a nice house in there. That's a crazy house. But I live around the corner from these people. I live right around, the genius of where I live is, it's not, I don't live in a, my apartment generally, it is, my apartment is expensive if you moved into it now. But since I moved in there 15 years ago, I have sort of the old prices. I pay two grand for a two bedroom, which is an insane deal. That same apartment would be three grand if you were to rent it today. Oh, this is a little dangerous here. I just traffic behind me, so I didn't want to go too slow. So that's Lawrence Fishburne's house. And here, I'll show you something now, okay? You see this on the left right here? Exactly on the left right here? I'm gonna pull over. This is Bob Barker's house actually right here. That's my neighbor and their dogs. That's actually my neighbor's dogs and their dog walker. I don't recognize the woman. Alrighty guys, thanks for hanging out again. A little in motion climber action. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, ask questions, use my bonus code for this or any scooter on my channel. That's the way it works here. 50 bucks off for you, you support me. The code is Electric Scooter Academy. Try to use the link in the description. All right guys, thank you very much. I don't think my regular viewers are even gonna believe this, but look at that shit. My elevator is down again. So I thought I would make, shit. I thought I would make a part two video on the in-motion climber, because this is the scooter that I, it's really the only scooter I wanna carry down the stairs. It's really the lightest scooter I've got. So thank God I have this. So I'm gonna do delivery shit on this probably tomorrow. Who knows how long the elevator will be down. Anybody know what I could do about this situation? Like you cannot not pay your rent if your elevator is down. You can't just not pay your rent. Well, from my understanding, if you want to not pay your rent, you have to put it into an escrow maybe or something like that. But there are no renter's rights. Renter's rights are very, very minimum. I've been looking it up and there's nothing we could do. So hopefully this will just be an overnight problem. <laughs> I doubt they're gonna tell us they need to get apart again. The truth is after fixing the elevator, it made noise the whole time. It made a clicking sound and I knew it was fucking broken the whole time. I'm just glad that I didn't get fucking trapped in there. But in the meantime, we got this scooter. A very good scooter for traveling around on. It's dinner time, we're gonna go to the taco place. Yeah, look, I'm not a religious person. Jews are not even supposed to say or write the word God down. We say Hashem. So it feels like Hashem is really testing me this week. It's been testing me for a while. I mean, we're always being tested, right? Anyhow, we're out here on the InMotion Climber again. No point, no uh, 3D camera, no 360 camera. I know a lot of you guys like the uh, point of view. It's actually better on this scooter since the camera is above the handlebar, so you do get a pretty good view out here on the InMotion Climber. We're actually taking a pretty far ride for this scooter. We're going to Franklin and Argyle. I've taken my other scooters there. It's where the taco shop is. I already had a pretty healthy, uh, I made lunch at home with some Dave's Killer Bread. I made a Dave's Killer Bread bagel. Dave's Killer Bread, everything bagel with bacon and eggs. It was fucking great. But I made that at home on myself. I feel like that's almost like a healthy meal. And now we're gonna go get tacos. I don't think tacos are actually that unhealthy except for the fact that I always get like a sweet drink with them. Uh, we're on a commuter scooter, so we're gonna sidewalk it. I feel pretty confident on this scooter though. I love the dual motor. I highly recommend it. I think I said at the beginning of this video, I will be doing a delivery video, a paid delivery video for InMotion. This is just like a little freebie for them. But 
it worked out perfect for me. I'm really actually using this scooter. There's no way I'm gonna carry my Cabo, uh, my Dualtron down the stairs. It's just not gonna happen. So I'm lucky that I even have one of these. It's a big perk of being a uh, B-level YouTuber. This is definitely more of a high-level ride on this scooter. It's like very hilly. The roads are bumpy and shitty. But I'm starting to put some miles on this thing. I'm starting to get comfortable on it. I mean, this is, feels like a dangerous spot. We're flying fucking downhill. I've done this a million times on the big scooters. Man, this is a pretty interesting spot right here. Alrighty, cool, excellent. I mean, for under a thousand bucks, this is an insane fucking scooter. I really like it. Use the bonus code, by the way. See, by the way, since I'm on the commuter scooter, I'm staying to the right. My motto on the big scooter is I'm part pedestrian, part car, part bike, total asshole. Part motorcycle too, but on this scooter, I'm just a bike. I'm a bike, I'm a small scooter. I can't screw around because it doesn't have like a blazing acceleration. So I don't want to be a jerk. I don't want to hold people up. That's my main thing when I'm out here driving. Like I don't want to slow people down or hold them up because I know I'm always in a rush doing shit. And uh, I hate when people slow me down. Look at this guy. Look at this guy with his little cute little hat and his little rental scooter. That's so fucking funny. I've definitely narrowed down my favorite tacos here. I like the Asada and the Al Pastor. I'm no longer getting the uh, Carnitas, and I'm only getting four. Hi, guys. Hello. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good. I'm your new regular. Can I have two Asada tacos, two Al Pastor, and that's it. Okay, so you guys can see I'm out here at the taco truck. I actually, I ordered smoke machine supplies before I left. And it was taking so long to get here, hours and hours with no call, I just left for food. The smoke machine delivery guy just called me, he said he's in front of my place. I said, dude, I'm sorry, but if you can get to Franklin and Argyle, meet me at the mobile station and have change for me, because I got a $150 order, I only have $100 bills. Um, he's gonna bring me my, my smoke machine supply. So we're waiting for this guy, so that's who you'll see in a, in a bit, hopefully. I'm gonna get my taco soon and then I'm going to get a delivery here. It should be pretty funny. Looks fucking delicious, huh? Two asada, two beef, and two al pastor. I'm not fucking around with that chicken or that carnitas. That carnitas was too fatty for me, and I felt like the chicken was just chicken, so here we go. Pretty good, I'm, I appreciate you going out of your way. I'm gonna have to put this shit in my pocket. The bad part of town to be showing this fucking bag. You got 50 bucks? It's, one th it's 139, right? Make sure I give you a ten dollar tip. Yeah, one forty. All right. Remember, we used to get arrested for this ship. All right, man. Well, thank you very yeah, much. You did a good job. Thanks, dude. Enjoy the time. Thanks, bro. <laughs> now I got to take all, put it in my pockets because these bags here, any scumbag criminal knows like bags. So I don't want to make it fucking obvious that <laughs> that I'm holding. I like to take my gummies early in the day. Like it's it's like four o'clock right now. But I usually fall asleep like 8, 9 o'clock, and these take a few hours to kick in. So let me show you what these look like. I'm sure you guys are curious about the L.A. gummy bear scene. <laughs> there you go. Three gummies. Let's go. Mmm. Delicious. These are made out of rosin, too. They're not fucking cheap distillate gummies. I have to say, that was really good. This place is always awesome. Best thing I did was order four and not five. I got five last time, and that was just too many. You don't think four tacos is much, but... I am pretty freaking full. All right, we're just gonna walk into Target, let this big dude go by first. I know I'm not supposed to ride this in here for sure, but if I keep one foot on the floor, am I actually riding? It's like this is super fucking dangerous. Where's the security guard? I'm not, I'm not really riding a scooter. I got one foot on the floor. Maybe, I, maybe I'll get some ice cream or something.